Welcome back to Sister Circle Live from some good old mimosas to wings and red velvet waffles. When it comes to brunching, we love a good old two for one turn up, honey. I know I do. And here to help us take our brunch game to the next level and give our soul something what it deeply wants, that's deliciousness. Please welcome winner of Foods Net Network series, Chopped Redemption, Chef Sammy Davis. Good to meet you. How are you? Good to meet you. Good to How meet you. are you? And it's already smelling amazing. Good, good, good. Now, what are you going to make today? What do you have so what, here for so us? So what we made today, we wanted to show you some diversity with some dishes and how to turn yes. regular dishes into some dope brunch dishes, right? Yes, exactly. So one of the things that I really hate that people serve in the fall is like that bland butternut squash mm -hmm, soup. Mm -hmm. So what we did, we took the butternut squash soup, we took it up, we added some crab meat in it, and Ooh. we turned it into a seafood and Ooh. crab soup. Almost but like I, a she, uh, a she uh, soup yes, or something. Yes, she, yes. she crab soup. Exactly. So mm -hmm. that's what we did. So we even added some saffron into it. Oh, that's And we added good. heavy cream to mm -hmm. give it a little bit more texture. And at the end, smell that. I'm going to see if you can guess that. Oh, that's a little truffle oil yeah, right there, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put it so, on on there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. So we're going to put the truffle oil in it, too. Mm -hmm, awesome. That's going to be good. But what, we wanted, but what we really wanted to show is that after you're done with this, there's some very great dishes that you can, you know, take this salt. You can turn into a sauce. Yeah. And so what we had in the pan, we started with a little chicken stock, mm -hmm. and then we added some butternut squash soup to it. Yeah. And then we added some more saffron, some more crab meat, and then we took shrimp and seafood stuff pasta Ooh, shells. Oh, I love that. And made a pasta out of it. And you can see how the sauce kind of from the saffron, mm -hmm. it kind of turned that bright yellow. It's beautiful. Yeah, and then at the end, if you just hit it with some truffle oil at the end. I know that's going to be it delicious. Really, it really so, comes out. Listen, you've earned the name as the brunch king. Yeah. What, what do you say to that? It's well earned. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well deserved? Well deserved. I was doing brunch before anybody even thought it was popular. Yeah? Um, I when always you thought get it was popular. I have to eat during that time. 20 years ago? Well, you, I just look young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Um, no, like a long time ago, mm -hmm. as a punishment, your executive chef, if he really didn't like you, he would put you on that brunch shift. Because oh, the brunch wow. shift meant that you had to work Saturday night, then you had to get up early Sunday morning and roll out a brunch. It was like a punishment. So it was a punishment. And so I worked for a chef who hated my guts. And he would always be like, well, you're why doing Why did the brunch. man hate you so poorly? He said I was too arrogant. Oh, and I was, were you? He, yeah, very. OK, well, as, uh, as long as you know who you are. Yeah. As long as you know you are. I was, I was probably the worst person in that building. Oh, my and God. And so he would say, you know what? You're doing brunch, and you got brunch for the next uh -huh. year. As long uh -huh. as you're here, yeah. you're going to do brunch. But he would always make it hard for me. So he would schedule me to close on Saturday night, which means I didn't leave the restaurant until like 2 a.m. 2 o'clock, yeah. And then, then I, prep. You got to come back in at, at then 9 or 8 to prep. I had to be back there at 7 a.m. to roll out a whole buffet. And this was at a large hotel. Oh my. And I'm talking about we had maybe 40 things on the on the buffet. God. And well, so I have to roll that out. That's a lot. Well, listen, we we, we know you're, you're a strong man and you can withstand anything. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your childhood and how getting into the restaurant business helped to save your life. Well, I I mean I had a difficult childhood, difficult uh start um and while you're doing it, show us how to make the ravioli. I was uh, I was raised in the system. I was trying to get this hat. Did I turn on the wrong thing? Did you? I did. Maybe I didn't even turn it on at all. I'm a horrible chef right now. I asked you during the commercial break. Yeah, was it on? you sure did. Um, well, it's on. So it's getting hot. Yeah. But, any, but anyway, so, you make so the growing ravioli? up. Ravioli, I actually bought that. Oh, OK. Uh, Just honesty. I love yeah. it. But this, this is the great thing about what we do at our restaurant, right, or what I do as a chef. A lot of people like to be able to do this stuff at home. Mm -hmm. And so you can't, like, you're not, you're not, you, I don't know you personally. Well, I have a cookbook, so yeah, right. so see, that's how so I let's say Rashawn Ali. Rashawn Ali's not going to roll out pasta at home and stuff it, mm -hmm. right? So we got to be able to guide her through. I got to throw my sister under the bus. <laughs> so we want to be able to run her into Whole Foods and say, hey, look, get this great pasta, but right. this is what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. So kind of like mix, mixing and matching okay. some things, some you fresh ready to ingredients. You go ahead and, and, and handle yeah. this? But tell me a little bit about that childhood and how it saved you it's, it's working in the restaurant. So working in a restaurant, we had no food. I had no food growing up. I grew up in the streets. So around 14 to 15, I was already deep in the streets. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and normally that's going to be, it's bring, being brought to a boil. Yeah. You were deep in the streets. And what I was, was deep it? in the streets. And so, you know, I needed something to eat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your biggest problem as a street person is getting something to eat every day, right? Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We have more with Chef uh, when, when we return. He's the brunch king. We have more with him. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and we are back with the one and only Chef Sammy Davis, and he's doing his thing in the kitchen. So we're now removing the ravioli, yep. and you're going to actually put this into the soup. Yeah, this is a crab put, soup, yeah? Yeah, we're going to put this into the soup. Okay. Toss it around a little bit. And at the end of this, you can either throw some tomatoes in it. You can throw some more crab if you Ooh, like a yeah, lot of crab. Oh, yeah, we'll put a little bit more crab yeah. in there, honey. You know, I like we, that. Uh, we like all that crab. Exactly. Toss it around in there. It's mm -hmm. getting really, really hot now. What are 
some other dishes we can make with that too. With this right uh -huh. here. So this is what we, uh, this is what I like, right? It, so you can I'm take a hard. But, you know, I'm gonna help you out. Cool. You wanna do that part? Just because you know I'm a helpful person. You, you understand see that, what I'm saying? You see the waffle right there? Yeah. So we took the waffle, right? Mm -hmm. You can plate it in here. All right. You can pour some of the soup on Ready? top of there. Yep. Oh, that's give me good, a right? Let me give you a little bit more. Like, I, I am never stingy, anyways. Yeah, give them a lot. There you go. A little bit more. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, that's a lot. And of then put some bacon on top of that. Okay. Do we have so, any crumbled bacon? No, put it on hold. You put it on hold like me. I like mine big. Oh, right? you like all of it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, you ain't scared of the bacon. Not at all. Okay, then. You see that? Uh huh. That's a great dish right I there. I like that. Can I get a little uh, green chives on top of that? Yes, you sure can. I think yeah. that'll be good. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, prep yes. you all some Ooh. of this soup. I just really want you to taste this butternut soup mm -hmm. with crab. We have. And oh, what you right over there. there. This is the ravioli. Would you like tomatoes in it, Trina? What you pass on the I think tomatoes? I'm gonna pass on the tomatoes. Okay. Mm. What about truffle oil? What's that? A little yes. truffle oil. Yes, I do. Yes. yes. And boom, then, boom. And then I have a, a couple of yes. green scallions yes. that we want to toss on top of it just okay. for a garnish. Mm. Yes. There you go. Okay. You want some soup there you soup? I do want some soup. Cool. All right. Would you like some soup? This one is even better. And let me go ahead and pass you want to this. taste it with the bacon to eat pork? Um, I do, but not today. Okay, okay so Chef, listen, you have uh, six restaurants. Are you working on a seventh? Mm. Yeah, we got two more opening this month. Yeah. 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 So, where, so are your, where are your locations? Uh, we Ooh, got the one in good. the one in Atlanta, Georgia, is in College Park on Main Street. Uh -huh. yes. yes, great area. Um, and it's a uh, musical theme, so if you like music, go there. Mm. It's a lot of good stuff going there. And the rest of our restaurants are in the DMV. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. the DMV area. Yes. I'm gonna put a ravioli <laughs> in mine. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So That's then good. DC, mm -hmm. Bowie, Maryland, College what? Park, Maryland. Yes, you. Uh, mm. And it's also in Woodmore. Oh, I'm tearing this one. Yep. Well, you heard him say it himself. Uh, well, but if put you want to. Put some cheese on that. Put Ooh, some yeah. cheese on yeah. it. Okay. Well, can you do it for me yeah. while I read the prompt? Okay, go ahead. Okay, you slide to the side. If right. you want to know more about this amazing Finish chef mine. and get your brunch game turned up and put some pep in your step, mm -hmm. go ahead and find him at uh, Chef Sammy Restaurants near you. Or it's, it's Milk and Honey.